Special thanks to Corey Wilson. Just signed up for the Patreon. He will get be able to message me directly. He also will be able to see videos before they come out. Weeks, sometimes months before they come out. Also, we're at TB Uncut. We're almost up to 500 followers over there. On Rumble, you get 100% of the notifications. So if you don't know what Rumble.com is, that's where all the people are going for freedom of speech, where you cannot be blackballed for your beliefs and what you think and what you say. So make sure you sign up for that. Sometimes on YouTube, they don't really, you know, they don't really pay attention to the notification. You say, I missed a live. If you're tired of missing lives, go sign up for Rumble.com. It's TB Uncut. And if you want to help support the channel for more than just cash apps, you can hit the Patreon channel. And that Patreon channel, you get stuff first, you can message me directly, and you also can help support the channel. I appreciate everybody who signed up for the Patreon and the TV Uncut. I'm happy that you're here for the live. Let's get into it. I was rough around the edges. <laughs> I, I, I would say uh, when I first got into trucking and then start doing um, media, I was um, I was rough around the edges. I was naive. I, I I didn't I didn't oh, what's the perfect word I didn't really understand the gravity of my um of my platform I just thought I was doing the same thing everybody else was doing and, you know I I didn't understand how um how backstabby the situation I was mm. in. I had like no me. Life. And that whole thing with YouTube, bro, like, I had to learn a lot, man. Like, remember, like, I live out here, and I'm just doing my thing, man. And I'm used to talking to people, and what they say is what they do. And then I get on YouTube trying to share some information. And, uh, yeah, I was extremely unexperienced about the world of all that stuff. You know, people carrying bones with bullshit, you know. And you always take people's word that it's true, and then it turns out it's not the way it is. And now you're done. I caught up on friendships and shit on some bullshit, you know. But I think it's a maturity level on YouTube and experience on YouTube, you know, live and learn. Yeah, I mean, the truth is, you know, YouTube is high school. That's the part we didn't. We didn't. I know. I didn't even do. I didn't even do that in high school, though, bro. Like, you know, like. Yeah, well, most people high do. School is, high school yeah. is usually a bunch of kids acting like adults. Um working on their emotions but acting like they're not lying about who they are fake personas it's the i mean everything we've seen fake personas bullshit uh acting like they have money when nobody has a job and <laughs> no one has money there but everybody for some reason is calling other people poor but no one has a job it's, it's the same shit here if the average trucker is not balling out of control but every single trucker that gets on here usually acts like they're either balling out of control or they're some super guru businessman. And the truth is 90% of the time we know that we've seen, because me and you have been around for a skosh, you've been around longer than me. We've seen people go up and go down and go up and go down and go up and go down. And we realize that it's just a volatile business. You can't really, you know, you can't really get cocky because trucking will fix that. You can't act like well, you're the man too much because trucking will trip you up. One thing I've always told everybody is everything's relationships, right? So, I mean, going back in high school, you know, I learned that stuff in high school, right? If you speak on something, you got to stand out, stand on it always, you know? And I had to realize on YouTube that my role that out here is not other people's worlds that they live in other places, other states, whatever, and they get on YouTube. <clears throat> There's a lot that I had to understand. <clears throat> as far as trucking goes, to me, my outlook is trucking is what you make it, right? Everything's in relationships. And I remember when I hit when I hit the scene, I got made fun of because everybody said, oh, everybody's got trucking videos. Everybody knows how to have some tires. You know, everybody knows this, like, you know, Trucking is boring and all that stuff, but since I've been on my platform, I've done this, I've, I've spoke on the same thing and I've never changed. And I'm still here today doing exactly what I've been doing, you know? But the whole thing is it's relationships. Just like take trucking out of it, right? And you do other things in life. 
everybody knows relationships get you into the club better or, you know, get you anywhere faster. It's always about relationships and never burn bridges. That's number one. Never burn a bridge. Hmm. That's a that's a, <laughs> that's an interesting take on it. Okay. Um, I agree. I can't say I disagree. I agree. I don't do well with relationships. Um, it's something that I mean I probably do well with them now because, as you know, as you get older, your testosterone starts to level out. As you become older, you you're not as um you're not as aggressive. So I've I've learned patience. I know how to take time now. Before, if you know if something was out of line, I would just attack it. Like now, I'm just I'm not that interested in attacking every little thing. I I will say um as far as trucking goes and relationships, I just I just don't see many ways of building them. Like I, I don't I don't I don't have a way of telling. A um, a person, what relationships to build in trucking? Because I believe, unless you have your own authority, if you're dealing with the corporate side of trucking, they 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 purposely don't let you build any relationship. You would have to get to the point where you're the level of a SoCal for relationships to matter. If you're just going to a company and leasing, that shit don't fucking matter, bro. You're a number. You know, if you just Talk go about that. Mm -hmm. Real quick, let's talk about that, right? I helped a guy one time. He was a driver for a, for a big company, right? And he says, "Man, I really like this lane, but they take him off, take me off sometimes." I said, "Look, I said stand out beyond all the other drivers that show up." I said, "You know, dress decent, like you care about your job. Smile when you go in there. Carry a conversation so they remember who you are. You know, and, and start with that. And believe it or not, he started doing that." And that dedicated the day on, they called his boss and said, make sure you send that guy. And next thing you know, he established a relationship, not his customer, not his truck. Now he built a relationship. And what did that do? That, that helped him achieve what he wanted to achieve. Now he started running that dedicated every time. Yeah, like I said, if you're the right person, it works. I just got my experience with trucking. I got, I don't know where this person works or what state he's in or anything like that, but that's not my not experience. California. <laughs> well, there, there, there you go. I'm in America, so in America that shit don't work like that. No, he's in America, just not California. You said he's in California. No, he's not in California. He's oh. in the, the states. It was so long ago. I don't really remember what. Yeah, he's in, but, but like I said, it, 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 it. I might. It's not have been my experience, but also I have to caveat to the fact is um uh i have a youtube too and it's different when you have a youtube and a lot of these guys that are coming in are making youtube i always try to tell them you know i don't want to discourage you from making a youtube but it doesn't help your trucking career to do it you have to understand that going into it that you're hurting yourself so you better figure out a way to um you're either gonna have to placate or you're gonna have to be a company guy on camera and we know the guys who are the company guys on camera but you get you know you can never criticize you can never have a thought it, it, to me if i if, if my, my child was about to do trucking i would tell him don't make a youtube it's not going to help your career it's not unless you're going to go to the ownership side unless you're just going to you know get all your own shit and do all that type of stuff but if you're if you're needing for someone to say yes you can work here then you don't you don't need to have a YouTube. Uh, that's one thing I didn't understand coming into it. I, I acted like my YouTube was separate from my career, and the truth is, it's not. It's not separate. The whole, thing, the whole thing about people in general is you wake up as a man, you go to sleep as a man. So anything you touch, anything that you do is you. No matter if it's YouTube, non YouTube, trucking, or, or flipping cars, or relationships with females, whatever it is you do is always going to be you. It's always everything's always attached together so i had to learn that myself too right but you know when people say oh it's just youtube like i never thought that like what i see on the screen is who you're supposed to be in person right you know and and, and we all learned right in our 
Now, I guess our maturity of YouTube, we learned that's not the case out here most of the time. Yeah, that was surprising. I, I really, I mean, I, I thought everybody, it shows, showed my naivete. I thought everybody was supposed to be real. That was the thing that I brought. Same, same with me, bro. Same yeah, with me, like, bro. Everybody ain't real, bro. People. Are sh- I never, I never knew what a troll was, you know. Right. And I mean, I never lived life like that. Like, you know, like out here, like it sounds stupid to say real life, but I'm saying non YouTube. Like, if people are not what you want, you don't fuck with them. Or excuse me, you don't mess with them. Yeah, you know? and that's just how that is, you know. And, um, and so anybody around me, they're, they're really about the business. So, and it's been so long since I've been around people that are full of crap that I didn't even notice it, you know, when I got on YouTube, you know, <laughs> like I thought everybody was real, bro. And then Solid, yeah. trolls carry bones and you believe what they say. And next thing you know, you're mad at somebody for something they didn't even do. And right. the thing I want to say, man, is always carry a conversation you know because communication is everything relationships friendships everything and and that's where i felt you know when when i learned about trolls on youtube and carrying bones and all that stuff like the first thing i should have did was call that person up like bro check this out but my immaturity i'd get mad blow up explode react and one thing a lot of people learned on YouTube, some people still haven't, is if you're pissed off and mad, whatever, don't hit the record button. Oh Calm down, God. think about it, because it might it might not be what you think it is when you're mad. Yeah, don't respond. That that's that's the that is the the secret nuclear weapon to doing this. And if it, I want to know what I, another thing I did too is I do not, I am not a customer of YouTube. I don't sit around. And watch trucking YouTube. Because if you do, you don't know if one in the window is about you or not. Then you end up becoming that person who says, I think they're talking about me. Or I don't watch. I don't if watch. If you do trucking. that, next thing you know, your, your content starts leaning in that direction. Mm-hmm. It like, starts leaning and responding about? to that direction. So mm-hmm. now you're either, like I said, all of this shit is churches. I told a guy that says, I said, every channel is a church. And depending on what a person says in my comment, I know whose congregation he comes from. If you jump over here and say, if a dude has a payment, he's not owner op and everything has to be owned and buy all your trucks cash. I kind of know where you're coming from, who you're coming from. If you jump over here and say, no, I'd rather just stay lease. I know who you're coming from. No, I'd rather train. I know who you're coming from. I know who you're coming from because the commenters are just in betweeners. The truth is they watch everybody but they have someone they like. So when they're watching your content, but they're really a disciple of this person, they'll start disagreeing with you along the lines that their person disagrees with you. And it, it creates issues. So I, I have developed a way of, I kind of remember what everybody usually says and I know what angle of someone's coming from and I can make some content out of it, but I know I, I start not taking it serious. Another thing I do too is I don't live nearby. I don't do that. I have an idea where you're at. Yeah, most people think they do. <laughs> most people think they do until they find out, <laughs> and they're like, "Holy shit!" Yeah, like there's no land. But the main, but the main thing, it doesn't matter where you're at. The main thing is, you know, you found yourself. You know, you found your lane, and you found out the life you want to live. You know, well, the person uh, you're next to, man, that's the most important thing, bro. Ground don't mean true. shit. That's true. That's true. But it's not true if you a nigga, because. When you switch to black people, they like to take shit off the internet, and then it becomes it becomes uh, it becomes dangerous. So I started realizing, like, okay, this is you know, this is I almost had to, to shoot a couple of people. Like I was like, this is getting weird. What the hell is going on? You know what I'm saying? So I started trying to figure out that it was a it was a level of troll that was only interested in trying to see me in person. And a few people almost got that fire about me because they think I'm just a soft target until they pull up on me and they're like, oh, no, it ain't like that, man. Like, you ain't got to be like that, bro. Like, hey, I'm sure you've heard that before in the West. Go, oh, man, yeah. you know, I really look up to you, man. That's really what it took. No, bro, I don't, I don't do the walking up on me. I don't do the finding out where I live. 
I don't do remembering my uh remembering my vehicles. I don't really play those type of games. Um, concealed carry. That's another thing too. Everybody should be concealed carry. I got mine. Oh, I know you got yours. Everybody should be concealed carry. You know, uh, vote for Trump. But all I'm saying is, if <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, real quick. Speaking about that, bro. What I was gonna do, I was gonna put a Trump uh, flag and everything behind me, man. But I'm like, I, you know, I didn't get. I'm not against. gonna do that. You know. I'm I'm be real with you. I'm not against it because I know since I'm, you know, I'm not supposed to be for Trump, but I hate. To, I've tried to have a very objective view of of all the politics and and trucking politics, and it's just looking that way, man. I, I don't know what to tell y'all. Like that's just the way it's if, looking. So if, if you had a is, business mindset, right, what well, people don't understand, you don't gotta like like Trump as a person. He's praying. I ain't gonna cousin him, he's probably a jerk. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, he's yeah. probably not the guy you you would like in person. But being said, it doesn't mean we don't like his, you know, the way he runs the country in business where he puts money in our pocket. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's one of those things where don't vote against your own interest. It's just, it, it ends up being that type of conversation. But what I've learned in time is that I prefer to say my piece. Don't hang out in this neighborhood because all this is neighborhoods. There's how people hang out in TikTok neighborhood. Some people hang out in, in Instagram neighborhood. We like to hang out in YouTube neighborhood. I don't hang out in social media neighborhoods because you will always be in bullshit. So when I'm done doing this work, I'm off. Yeah. Like I get off of it. And I, and I eliminated 40% of all drama just by doing that. The other 40% is um, I don't have many friends. I mean, when I think about back when we were doing a lot of bullshit, I had 16 people calling me. How the fuck did I get to 16 people calling me? Because I'm thinking I'm just a cool dude. I'm like, yeah, man, this is my number. I mean, I had them all calling me, bro, on YouTube. Like, you know, and uh, I mean, I don't regret nothing because... That makes me the person who I'm today as far as YouTube, man, how to learn, right. you know, but there is certain people that I know has loyalty that I can trust, you know, and right. those, are the, those are the only people I really mess with on that level. And that's smart. You know? That's yeah. smart. And I feel the new people doing the content now, I've watched the new people sitting in the driver's seat talking, you know, and I don't, I don't see anything wrong with it. But I just I'll, I'll watch them and I'll just notice it's like, man, they're as far as in a lot of ways they're messing up. I don't mean they're messing up with their content is bad. I don't want to be that guy. I'm saying right. that they they don't see the danger in showing their truck. And that's a to me, that's just it's just a no, no, bro. Special thanks to Corey Wilson. Just signed up for the Patreon. He will get be able to message me directly. You also will be able to see videos before they come out. Weeks, sometimes months before they come out. Also, we're at TB Uncut. We're almost up to 500 followers over there. On Rumble, you get 100% of the notifications. So if you don't know what Rumble.com is, that's where all the people are going for freedom of speech, where you cannot be blackballed for your beliefs and what you think and what you say. So make sure you sign up for that. Sometimes on YouTube, they don't really, you know, they don't really pay attention to the notification. You say, I missed the live. If you're tired of missing lives, go sign up for rumble.com. It's TB Uncut. And if you want to help support the channel for more than just cash apps, you can hit the Patreon channel. And that Patreon channel, you get stuff first, you can message me directly, and you also can help support the channel. I appreciate everybody who signed up for the Patreon and the TB Uncut. I'm happy that you're here for the live. Let's get into it.